What's up, guys? All right, it's finally time to start browsing for some virtual assistants. These aren't really going to be tutorials. What I'm trying to do here is more of the kind of videos where this is the work that I'm doing, and I'm just trying to do videos showing you guys, right? So before I hire somebody, well, I got to create an ad, right? Before I create an ad, I got to figure out which website I'm going to use. I've never even looked at Upwork. Actually, that's not true. Recently, I haven't looked at Upwork. So we're going to look with up, Upwork in this, up, in this episode and browse it and try and figure out what kind of different things there are and get a feel for Upwork and then maybe post an ad or maybe I'll do that in the next episode. I like doing a kind of episode where I just kind of browse around, kind of get the experience that you're going to get when you browse the site or the tool for the first time, not really knowing where everything is because I really try and like make things very approachable and I think that that's a good way to do it is to always do videos with that new I'm figuring this out for the first time kind of perspective, okay? So let me explain a tiny bit more about what we're... Oh yeah, I'm installing something. I was like, what was that? Why did that file just download? Um, let me tell you a tiny bit more about what our goal is here. So in the long run, we want to use virtual assistants to pretty much do all of our business stuff. And I probably will also use some stuff on YouTube. Did that screw the recording up? No, okay, I'm installing a graphics card driver while doing this recording, which is not a good idea, but we'll, we, will, we'll, we will see what happens. But, um, okay, so long, long term, we're trying to hire our virtual assistants to figure out everything, right? But right now, we're just trying to accomplish a very simple basic task, and that is posting items. And we're probably going to be using DSM tool to post the items. I'm going to use some kind of lister and then just figure out how I can maximize the lister so that the only thing the virtual assistance is doing is just doing the keyword optimization of the titles because ideally they don't have to do anything else because then that'll be cheaper for me and it'll get more listings done and really that's the kind of biggest difference right so you can fully optimize something but the way that this is going to work is okay well how do I figure out what items this virtual assistant is going to be posting and that's where okay Normally, when you snipe items, you're just looking at a seller's items that have sold, right? But what I'm going to do is a combination of things. So I'm going to be sniping my bulk account that's producing sales, right? So I'm going to pick categories of items that I want to learn more about and price ranges of items. And then I'm going to bulk post them on one account. And then... As items get attention, and this isn't just sales, anytime an item gets a message or a watcher or a sale, those three things, as soon as it gets any one of those flags, then a virtual assistant is going to, well, the item is going to be put into a queue, and then it's going to be posted on the other account that has higher feedback and is newer, but has big enough limits that I, don't, I can still use it. Um, and then that's how we're going to make that feed of items. The idea here is I got to figure out a feed because really what, what sets different dropshippers apart is what they use for their feed. And their feed is whatever they decide about what items get posted, right? How they figure that out is their feed. Some people snipe other sellers. Some people just, you know, do category research using some kind of tool. Some people just randomly post things. You know, there's a whole bunch of different processes that you can use. Um, but what I want is to figure out, okay, how can I not rely on other people's success and how can I create my own sales and figure out a system to do that? And I think the advantage of bulk is that you kind of just, you're basically scanning the current state of the market and then quickly posting based on results that you get. So we'll see how that goes. And I'm pretty sure it's going to do well, like enough that this coupled Bulk alone, it's you can definitely earn some money with, but I think that you could earn way more money if you use bulk posting as a tool. So instead of paying to get your product research or to create your feed, right, you're using a system that doesn't make a whole bunch of money but is profitable and it tells you what is currently selling. So instead of paying money for that, you're getting money for it because you're getting sales and those sales themselves are indicating what you should then put your time into, right? 
And I like this because it's very flexible and it gives you the option of like, okay, if I want to figure out what kind of items sell, like one of the things I need to figure that I'm working on is these, these Amazon sales that I've gotten where we have a $20 sale that's fulfillable by an $8 item on Amazon. And like that is the kind of sale that I really want to pinpoint and have happen on a much more frequent basis. So instead of theorizing about that, what I can do is do a, a run of it where I post a bunch of items all between like seven and $10 on Amazon Prime and price them all at 20 bucks. And then that, but I do it bulk, right? And then the things that sell show me, okay, this is the kind of item that works with this kind of setup, setup that I want, right? So you can use it to test whatever you want and then post that with the optimized account. And obviously, it all kind of starts with having this virtual assistant to post optimized items based on the current state of my bulk items. And the big thing with bulk moving forward is that I'm, there is going to be a death date for bulk listings. Um, and I, but what I mean by, by that is that they are not going to be live for more than a certain amount of time, even if they're producing repeat sales, because that just makes it easier to keep the accounts kind of like, um, I'm really trying to think of the bulk account. I'm not trying to get repeat sales on that account. I'm not trying to get like really profitable items. What I'm doing is scanning, using that account to produce some sales, but mostly to show me what's currently happening. And then using the optimized account to very quickly respond to that, right? And the, the good thing about it is it'll be a continuous feed of items, right? So we shall see. That's the grand master plan for my dropshipping career at the moment. Um, so that all starts here, right? So I guess enough chitter chat, chit chat. Now that you understand what my plan is, it's time to start browsing Upwork to see what kind of virtual assistants they have. Because what we need, really, we need somebody ideally who's just done eBay titles in the past. Their English level is a little bit important, but I have a kind of system that I'm going to try and use to thin out a lot of the not as savvy reps, okay? And I'll explain a little bit more about that as soon as I have a sip of this tea. All right. Actually, before I get into that, let's, let's search for eBay. Let's get started. We'll quickly glide you through the steps. Okay, cool. Um, you'll get quotes from freelancers. Okay, what do I want? I want... IT and networking, I guess. Probably. Nope. Never mind. That's not it. I don't think this is super, super, super important. Translation, sales, customer. I guess it would be customer service. It's probably the closest thing. Technical support. But. Uh, uh, I don't want to do I'm being impatient. Okay. Within customer service, what skills are needed to complete this project? Um, I'm just going to pick customer service. How long do you expect the project to last? Well, first we're going to do trial projects, right? All right. Uh, I'm going to pick expert just because. All right, all right, all right. I really just want to browse things at first before I post anything because I'm not in a rush with this, but I guess let's just go with, oh, I already have an account. Oh, great. Okay. Well, so much for all this. I guess I did use this in the past, didn't I? Whoops. But did I use a password that I remember? Ho, ho, ho. Looks like I did. Awesome. Okay. The, I did actually post a listing at some point. <laughs> yeah, I did. Wow. So I, I, I tried. I don't remember what happened. I think something in my life happened after this. <laughs> my budget. I put 10 bucks as the budget. That's hilarious. All right. Well, let's, let's do some browsing here because I don't want to post anything yet. I just want to look. See what comes up with eBay. If we just do a search for eBay, 
How are things going to go? Are we searching? Well, now it's prime time to drink some tea. 15 bucks and... Okay, here we go. we got to tweak some settings here. We are going to disable US only. Go to our filters. And we're going to look for somebody... Here we go. In East Asia, I think. Come on, search locations. There we go. Asia. All right. Awesome. Okay. That's better. We don't want 780. These are kind of expensive. $4. Okay. So, let's get a sense of of the different options here. So, what I'm doing right now is I'm browsing by their posted ad. But what we want to do is actually make our own ad. Let's see how this goes. But we're not going to do that yet because right now we're just we're just going to look at some of these different people. Just to get a sense of what the profiles look like and that kind of thing, right? Fancy, fancy, fancy. Apparently, there's going to be agencies here and individuals. But we want to try and make sure that we're just working with individuals. So what do we have here? All right, so their profile has some statistics about them. It shows when they started, how many jobs they currently have, how many jobs they've done, current members, I don't know what that means, total hours logged, the amount that they've earned. Interesting. They're doing something for three bucks an hour. Four bucks an hour, three bucks an hour eBay project listing and management, eBay listing search optimizations, interesting, very, very interesting, and they got a little profile here, look at that, look at all that text, I guess that's a uh, interesting. So you can tell a bit about their English or their hired English level. But this actually isn't so important to us right now. What I'm doing is just getting a sense of this website. What we're going to do is post an ad. And we're going to thin out a whole bunch of our applicants. Because the initial interview with them is going to be posted to the YouTube channel. So I'm going to post... A job and this might not work it might deter too many people but I'm going to post the job to do some title optimization work for me and I'm going to show a link to my YouTube channel and explain that everything that you do with me and everything that you talk to me about will be recorded and published to YouTube because I know that okay this is gonna thin out a lot of people because they won't have any interest theoretically or they're just gonna ignore it and then I'm gonna be like publish the videos and they're gonna be like what the hell but the idea here is that we make it so that they have to have some initiative and be looking and be kind of serious because people are kind of people get nervous about being on video and if you have the balls to just be on video anyway then that kinda says something about your commitment you know um, so this will be interesting. And if the, this person, you know, if at that point they're on a website, they're on a YouTube channel, that's a way to promote themselves. So it, it, it could help them, you know, but we'll see. We shall see. That will start by posting the ad, um, which I should probably just do next. I think we're at a point, I think for this video. Yeah, this video I'm probably going to end pretty soon. Unless there's something else I can think about. I think that's pretty much everything. So we've checked out Upwork. We've browsed a little bit. And then in the next episode, we're going to post our ad.
Interesting. All right, guys. See you in a minute. Ciao.